We're ready. Okay, so I did rickets in canines specifically, but it can also be seen in like kittens, and LB swine, humans can even get it. Um, so yeah, um, the cause is generally just a vitamin D deficiency um, or insufficient absorption of the vitamin D in the body. A little bit is from their food, but most of it is from sunlight. Not directly from sunlight, but um, the UV rays. This diagram is pretty awesome. The UV rays activate the precursors, which then move through the body to create the active form of vitamin D. Um, yeah, now I'm, I'm going to be your partner. Did you make this, by the way? I did not. I found out. You should have said yes, because that's pretty impressive. <laughs> but when you, I just want to reiterate, when you talk about vitamin D synthesis in the body, there's a couple things. Actually, it was mislabeled. It's a hormone. It's a hormone. Okay, so vitamin D is really a hormone. It acts like a hormone. And it takes the pre like you said. I like love how you said precursors. You know, there's a derivative of cholesterol, but you got to have the skin, liver, and kidney interact in that sequence. Okay, the skin does something with the UVB light, then it converts to another precursor, and then the liver does something, and then the kidney does something, and out of the kidney comes active vitamin D. I mean, that's really weird. And then it goes. Actually, one of the sites. Are you going to talk about where it goes? Uh, not. Okay, so then Not too much. when active vitamin D leaves the kidney, one of the places it goes is the intestine. And it tells the intestine to make calcium binding protein, CBP. And then that uptakes more calcium from whatever's in the lumen of the gut. So it's quite a sequence of events, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so like he said, the vitamin D regulates the absorption of calcium and phosphate, so the vitamin D deficiency also will lead to like a calcium and phosphorus deficiency in the animal. Um, one issue, I know we talked about homemade diets a lot, so I want to kind of, kind of say something about it. I know you talked about you add like vitamins and stuff. Um, so I found a case study, it was actually about kittens and it's about crickets. Um, they were given just an all meat diet, which is high protein, high fat, so they had really nice shiny coats, like their body condition looked good, like healthy weight per se. Um, but within four weeks, they started to show signs of lameness and like reluctance to play because of the um, vitamin deficiencies. And by five to 14 weeks, they had noticeable hind limb deformities. So wow. yeah, it's, okay. it's pretty yep. serious. And you know what, a lot of the um, homemade diets call for a calcium supplement just to avoid that. Like exactly. Sometimes they have a bone meal. Yeah. I, I just buy human calcium tablets and you know, crush a little bit of them. Just mm -hmm. a little yeah. bit, yeah. Um, and large breed dogs are more susceptible like great pains and stuff just because as puppies they're growing so much in a short mm -hmm. amount of time. Okay, so... Um, the symptoms are mostly pain caused by weakness of bones because of the deficiencies in the minerals. Um, so they can have softer decaying teeth, um, lots of bone pain, they'll not want to play anymore. Um, they'll get muscle cramps from trying to like stay off different parts of their body. Um, in extremely severe cases, like you might see puppies from like puppy mills, they're going to have skull asymmetry. Um, going up the legs, like in this picture, this is actually a Great Dane puppy right here. So you can see his um, legs are buckled out. Um, that's normally where you're going to see it first is their front legs. Um, pelvic deformities, spinal deformities, hypocalcemia, which is just low calcium in the blood, um, loss of muscle tone because they're not going to be doing anything, and their bones are going to be really soft so it'll be really easy for them to break things. And so I have a video. Of okay, one second before you move on. And the other thing about this muscle tone is, do you guys know calcium is needed for muscle contraction? So not only you know is it good for bone growth, but if you don't have calcium, you don't get uh, muscle contraction properly. So I have a video okay. of a puppy. Did you make this video? I did not. Okay. Make this video. <laughs> so here he is, here's just a little puppy. Well, look at that. He's walking with it. You can see how buckled his um, front limbs are and how it affects his walking. You can see he's limping because obviously it's painful. He's not really running around like a normal puppy would. So That's crazy. Now, what was the history of that dog? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, I just know he came into the vet presenting with okay. this condition. Wow.
Okay, so prevention luckily is super easy, really, um, just if your animal has proper nutrition. Um, I saw online this 1.2 to 1 calcium to phosphorus ratio, and this is the percent of calcium and phosphorus that they should have in their diet. It's different for different stages in life, so I found um, for peat growth and also lactating dogs, um, this is about the highest that they need, these two percentages. Um, in sunlight, of course, to help with production of active vitamin D. Um, I found this supplement online. Um, I'm not like promoting or anything, but there are like supplements that you can get. I think for this one, it says, yeah, nursing females right. and growing puppies and kittens. Because when a, an animal is lactating, that's a big drain of calcium uh, into the milk. Yeah, um, I also want to point out that too much calcium can also be harmful. Um, so you always want to talk mm -hmm. to the vet. And, to see how much exactly you should give. Now the one thing about nutritional recommendations by veterinarians, you know veterinarians have very little nutrition training when they're in vet school. Does anybody can tell me? Anybody know people that are in vet schools? Some vet schools vary, but it might only be like one class. Sometimes it's two or three, but they're pretty deficient. You know, they're so they're so trained in medicine and all that other stuff that they don't have time for nutrition, so there's a lot of better sources of nutritional uh, advice, let me put it that way. Um, so like I said, um, it's pretty easy to prevent and it's also usually fairly simple to correct. Um, obviously you're going to need a correction of diet, so they're going to need to have that vitamin D, calcium and phosphorus in their diet. Um, here's a puppy, you can see he'll probably grow out of it, so once you correct their diets, usually everything will like fix itself. Um, like I said, in severe cases, they actually have active vitamin D injections that they can give, um, as well as calcium and phosphorus su supplements. If the dog is older, like say a rescue, and it wasn't treated, the bones will eventually harden on their own, and so it'll be hardened in this like bow state. Um, so there are some like orthopedic braces that can help like provide them with comfort, because they're not gonna fix themselves once they get hard. Now what's amazing about those puppies is like that one you showed the video, I mean that was a relatively young puppy. Mm -hmm. So the onset of this clinically is, I mean, rather rapid. I'm yeah. just amazed how. Yeah, like the kitten case study, I was super surprised with, like at five weeks they could already be like yeah. deformed. That's amazing. Because so, they're growing so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I this is a, a dog that has braces put on. It looks like a black lab. It's obviously older. It's pretty large. Um, it's buckling in the front. It's got like weak bones, so they put braces on. Almost walks like she's got like flipper feet. Not oh, yeah, like her trying to like, hold her up. Wow. Do you know how old that dog is? Um, I do not. Okay. I mean, it's pretty it's large, a, but yeah. it's still like a puppy. So yeah. Pretty. Yeah. So it doesn't have like a super severe case, but they do put on splints, mm -hmm. obviously to help correct. Yeah. It's gait. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. It'd be it, on all those. It'd be interesting to know the history, like. What were they fed? You know, what mm -hmm. what caused this? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it says that. That's okay. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Questions, comments from the audience? Experiences? I know I did it because my friend rescued a puppy that had it. Um, he grew out of it. It was like a pit bull mix. Okay. He was really I mean, so that's kind of encouraging that if you catch it early enough, that they can grow out of it, mm -hmm. right? It's not like something that you I mean early enough, so it's not going to be permanent. But you made a good point about the, if you're doing the homemade diets. If you look online, most of the diets have something calcium added, bone meal. Um, I used to add eggshells with my big new feet. I just put a whole egg in, boom, crush it all up. And because you can get calcium from egg shells. Here we got a comment or something over here. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I am curious about something. So I guess just a quick like pre-question. 
if the kidneys were to like fail or something, that would also add to like a potential vitamin D deficiency, right? Uh, yeah. Probably wouldn't see kidney failure in a puppy unless they were like extremely sick for some other reason, but okay. it would. And in like older dogs, when they have like kidney failure, it wouldn't affect like their bones in the same way because their bones are already hardened. Because okay. um, the calcium helps to um, like ossify the yeah. bones. Like, so I guess, yeah, you're, you're making a good point. It's more likely to be seen in puppies where the bones haven't totally ossified yet. Mm -hmm. but that is a good question because some dogs are born with renal aplasia. That means mm -hmm. their kidneys from the get-go are very small. And then that, that's very interesting. It would be interesting to see if there's any studies where if you could see um, young puppies with renal aplasia and somebody did a, a blood study and looked at active vitamin D synthesis, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it gets complicated because then there's usually vitamin D in the diet so you don't know if it's coming from the diet or the kidneys, but you make a good point because that kidney, without that kidney doing that last jump, it's not active vitamin D. When it comes out of liver, it's not really ready to work yet. Okay. So um, continuing on from that, um, so there's this series called um, Untold Stories of the ER, and one of the things that they saw in there um, was that this this guy had come from baseball practice because um, he had gotten hit in the head with the baseball and it turned out to be like a serious um, like they were trying to like look in his brain to kind of get some of the hematoma and like the, the blood out of there so that he can you know live um, but they noticed that his bones were very brittle like os like it, they were thinking it was osteoporosis but if I was thinking about it and hearing it correctly it seemed that he had like kidney failure because it was high mm -hmm. levels of creatinine or something in the blood. Okay, yeah, that would indicate like that. maybe the kidneys aren't working. That right. could have caused that. So would oh, that okay. be also another case to see in dogs? The kidneys. Was he a young like, a, like, young person? Then? Yes, I okay. believe like late middle school, early high school. Okay, so the so the bones are still getting thicker in that case. So mm -hmm. yeah, it wouldn't be an adult. I mean, the adult probably has the solid enough bone. Yeah, yeah. so that could be. Kidney failure, or, you know, suboptimal. See, kidneys can be perfect. They can be perfectly bad, or every place in between, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. where that line is at for this young person, it could have been not layering down enough calcium. So that's a good point. I think he would have had um, like a deficiency in vitamin D as well. Could have been, yeah. Okay. Could be. Yeah, gets very complicated. Okay, let's give everybody a round of applause softly because remember how some guys don't know about that. Say goodbye to Minnie.